there's 40 million sheep in New Zealand and they're pissed off was how we were pitching the film from the beginning. And that really does kind of sum up kind of the story and the, uh, the attitude of the film as well. And that's always been a big part of New Zealand's identity crisis, if you like, that we're known for our sheep as opposed to a whole lot of other things. You can't go anywhere in New Zealand without driving past sheep. And usually when tourists come here, the first thing they do is snap off pictures of sheep when they go past them. And you're sort of like, calm down, there's a lot to be seen. You won't miss out on sheep when you travel around New Zealand. The idea almost popped into my head fully formed. I thought a New Zealand horror film about sheep was a great idea for a movie. And then straight away, lots of other stuff came from the idea. Lots of funny things and lots of scary things. So I think straight away, I knew that it was gonna be a funny and scary film. The script for me was perfect, simply put, you know, can, can a, a schlocky horror uh, comedy about where sheep be perfect? Why not? The fact that Jonathan has taken a national icon and turned it upside down and turned it into something that it isn't in reality is very challenging. It's been very difficult to make it work, both from a storytelling point of view and a filmmaking point of view, but I think it's, it's an idea that's been out there waiting to be made into a feature film and, you know, but why not? Rattle those dams, eh? Animals are very smart. And the sheep that we had from Hero Animals are very smart as well because they're not normal sheep. They're like, you know, they're brainy sheep. They look at you and they, as if they're trying to work you out. Working with sheep, you're a nightmare because they're um, completely unpredictable. You know, you'll rehearse something three times it all looks great. Then they'll roll the camera, everything will go quiet, and the sheep will go, what's going on? Someone will quiet. But my uber sheep boy, um, did she play hard to get? It was real hard work with her. Oh, the uber sheep. Gee, she's an arrogant, stuck-up sheep. She certainly had her own mind. She adored the pampering and thought that it was very special. But she was very temperamental sheep. She didn't really want to play the game. Although uh, we were quite thrilled with what we actually managed to achieve out of her. I mean, she did look absolutely fantastic, like a super sheep. We're called uh, Gable and Lombard, <laughs> Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton. I'll never Thus the great years. screen romances are born. One of the things Jonathan would say was we should always look out of the side of our eyes. As we slowly return to sheep, we'd get more sheep-like characteristics. And um, I think Oliver Driver had a much better handle on this than I did. So I spent a lot of time walking around looking at sheep and I found out sheep don't do that. Sheep don't look at you like that, they look at you like that. So um, the first thing I did when I saw Jonathan again was try and tell him that, but he still said, no, I still want you to go like that. And then that moved through also into the prosthetics and the makeup. We started introducing big bottom teeth because sheep have big bottom teeth but no top teeth. So I walk into the van and I'm like this. What's that? Set, um, <laughs> very quickly, uh, cool. And contact lenses for their particular eyeballs. Actually, we had those made so that they look slightly off to one side on both sides, so that because sheep's eyes are on the side, so to make it look as if the the actors are starting to transform into sheep, we've had their eyes start to creep across. You, you can see fine out of those, huh? Yeah, it's like uh, in places slightly, like wearing slightly fogged um, swimming goggles, but. Yeah. Um, the vision's pretty good, really. I, yeah, I could read, probably. It's just like regular acting, except you've got all the stuff that's doing so much work for you anyway. I look at it as a great help. Hello. Hello. How are you? Very well. You look disgusting. Yes, I already forgot for sheep acting. It was the kind of film that things always got better the more fun they were having and the more they were playing with their characters and with the situation. So we were always serious about having fun, but when we did have fun and let stuff run, it, um, it was terrific. Just said trip in the script. It's really nice to, to have stunts that are doable by an actor. I love that because as soon as you start running and the adrenaline starts pumping, you're somewhere you're in a place and it's an amazing thing to go from. Jump off! The script has all these different moments where they enter the room, they see the sheep, Henry gets whacked. <laughs> right, 
so then there's a couple of lines and Henry comes back and gets whacked. <laughs> Every time I read that I'd go, okay, so I'm gonna have to hit the wall again. Jonathan saw how cool it was that, you know, for Min to take a little ride before when I pulled her out of frame, and he came up to me and I think he wants to try it too, so being the stuntman slash director that he is, he wants to do his own stunts on his little cameo, so I've agreed to do it. Let's give you a soft one, okay? Okay. You ready? Three, two, one. For the soft one! The thing that surprised me most is just the, the fun I've had. Working with a, a, a New Zealand crew that's enjoying telling a New Zealand tale, it, it meant that you turn up and you feel like one of the crew. Yes, thank you. Richard Black. Yes. Oh, God, no. Oh, no. That's it. I'm going to look ugly from now on in this film. It's been an amazing experience and everyone works together seamlessly as a unit. Now, now Deborah might wipe all the makeup off at the same time. Yes, it's true. Sorry. <laughs> and so you can just go on to it, talk to Jonathan, get clear direction and then play. You can just go for it. It is a director's medium. They've got the whole world in their head. And he communicated that to us. So we had that sense of confidence that things were moving and progressing as they should. Working with any director is always a, a difficult thing at first because you don't know whether you're going to gel, whether they're going to like your ideas. It's the opposite of that with Jonathan. You know, he loves all this stuff. He's steeped in it. He's the, uh, the movie trivia king. And so we got on immediately, you know, so I'm really happy. I hope that we get to work together again. Making this movie has been all of my dreams come true, really. I think the film is an incredible ride, and it was an incredible ride for all of us making the movie. It was difficult sometimes, it was cold, it was a lot of hard work, a lot of covered in slimy fake blood and things. But I think everyone had a great time, and, and we had mostly a young cast who hadn't been in movies before, and it was exciting for them. We had a very experienced crew, who a lot of whom had been on King Kong and Lord of the Rings and things, and I think they really enjoyed being on a smaller film where everything they did counted and they were really closely involved in everything that ended up on screen. So there was an amazing feeling amongst the cast and crew. Everyone worked really well together and, you know, I think you see the results of that on screen. It was an amazing experience and I think we've made a terrific movie.